Okay, so today we've got our favorite cup of coffee, and we're going to talk about why the tale of two cars has become the tale of two cars plus one. We got a 1984 C4 Corvette, and this is going to be called uh, Project Tack Hammer. If you're not familiar with Reeves Callaway and the Callaway Corvettes, look into that and you will see why I call this Tack Hammer. So let's take a look at the car. Okay, so let's start under the hood. We've got a Crossfire Injection 350 cubic inch small block Chevy. Um, I don't believe you could get it with anything else in 1984. So far, what I've done is it had a pretty nasty stumble, and underneath that cover, I'll show you later in the video, there's vacuum lines everywhere. <laughs> and uh, I had to chase down a couple vacuum leaks. It still has a slight stumble um, at part throttle, but at wide open throttle, everything works. And I think it's because of these. When you start this, both sides are supposed to close and this side will open as it warms up. This side works, the other side, as soon as you start it up, it's wide open. So I um, still have a couple vacuum issues to, to work through there. But um, the car at wide open throttle probably does make about 200 horse. And that would be a gift. <laughs> um, I'm going to say... It's probably closer to, I don't know, 170 in its current condition. Um, the engine itself, one of the reasons I bought the car is it has 61,000 miles. So it's unmolested. Nobody's done anything with the air intake. They usually cut a hole through there so it'll flow through the hood. And that hasn't been done yet. So, <clears throat> the car is factory paint, as far as I can tell. Um, the wheels aren't factory. I believe those are Riddler wheels, and they are wrapped in Dunlop rubber. Um, they're 18s. They do tend to fill out the one fender wells fairly well. Um, has the target top that is the factory color. Um, in 84, you could get both tops with it. One would be clear, one would be the uh, body color. This one just has the one top, and the seals in it are bad, to say the least. When you go down the road, uh, the car rattles a little bit. But um, going back to the paint, in the mid-80s, GM tried to change up, I believe it was like a water-based primer. And paint did not stick to it very well. And you can see somebody moved in a little bit too close. And you've got that. And then I don't know if it's going to show on the camera. If you look up the body line under here, you can see some bubbles where the paint didn't quite adhere very well. But all in all, it's a uh, fairly clean car. It's got the go fast spoiler on it. Power antenna still works. Um, it's, for the most part, I think it's going to be a restored car. I don't think I'm going to put any type of go fast options on it. Um, it's a 1984 Corvette. It's not collectible, but with as much of it that's here, I think I'm going to keep it original. I think I'm actually going to try and find a set of the uh, offset turbines to put back on it. So let's look at the interior. At some point, I think somebody recovered the seats um, because the seats on both sides have little to no wear where your body rubs across getting in and out. Steering wheel doesn't wobble. Um, so generally what happens is because you got such a high step there, 
people will use that steering wheel to pull themselves in and out of the car. Um, so that's tight. It's either been replaced as far as the pins go or it's been well maintained. Other than the wheels, the only thing that I don't see that's factory is that. Um, the kid that had it before me had some type of base box in the back and um, installed this aftermarket radio, which, let's see if we can get this on here. It's supposed to have this Bluetooth thing, and that don't work either. Um, the radio works okay, but um, the wiring that was left down there and there, um, maybe not so much because the factory sp uh, speakers in the back have their own sort of preamps in them or something to that effect and you get a little bit of popping through the speakers and I'm pretty sure it's because of that. So I'm gonna pull that out to get rid of that wiring and when I pull it apart, I'll see uh, what kind of mess is back there. He did say that there was a cluster of wires back there that were taped together. So, whatever that means. Um, again, the seats, other than maybe needing a little cleaning as far as I haven't vacuumed it out yet, the interior is very nice. So... Um, like I said, I think I'm going to restore this one. The uh, If I want to go fast, I can do that. If I want to cruise, I can do that. But this thing, with that little overdrive transmission, when I drove it back from northern Ohio, I was getting almost 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. And I was doing 65-70. Um, so the gearing in it is right for traveling. Um, so maybe this will be like a power tour car. I don't know. I just don't see any reason to take something this nice and butcher it up. I don't know. We'll see. The logo in the back has been replaced. Um, Fuel's in the center. Um, it's got some minor, like, little chips in the paint. Um, let me bring you over here. There's a little bit of damage here on the corner. I think that's from everybody grabbing here to uh, lift the hood. Um, I don't know exactly how to go about fixing that, but uh, when I get the paperwork from the Corvette Museum and I find out what the actual color code is, maybe that's something to touch up. The headlights all work. Um, the motors appear to be either new or replaced. Um, very smooth. Those little shocks right there are pretty much for show, they do nothing <laughs> right now. Um, I found a replacement set and uh, it'll probably be one of the first things that I replace on it just for ease of putting the hood up and down. So something that nobody does with these C4 Corvettes is they'll do um, upgrades or whatnot and they won't actually say what kind of performance gains that you have. So what I'm going to do is every time I do something to this, whether it's, you know, vacuum lines or going back to the tires, um, even a tune-up, we're going to take this out with the draggy and make a quick trip to Mexico and find out if it's a plus or a minus with the uh, with the horsepower and time so uh, I think right now we should take it out and get some base times okay so we made it um, we're getting a little bit of heat in the car uh, most of your C4 Corvettes tend to run at like 200 to 210 degrees it's kind of interesting I I thought 
something was wrong with the car when I first got it, but if you talk to most C4 owners, um, bring it up to operating temperature, lift the hood, you'll watch. Those fans won't kick on to like 205. So uh, apparently that's just the way it runs. A little bit tough to get used to looking down and seeing the temperature that high, but uh, yeah. So we're heading out to uh, a local spot here in the great land of Mexico, and uh, we're going to see what it does. Okay, test hit number one. Okay, test tip number two. Apparently it helps if you turn the draggy on. Okay, so zero to 60 was eight seconds. Eighth mile was a 1027. And I lifted well before, but it said that the uh, quarter mile was 16 seconds, which is pretty much on par for what this car is capable of. Um, it's a 200 horsepower Corvette. <laughs> um, I do think that we can get the 60 foot time down with uh, some decent tires. And if I had to guess, I'm going to say this thing can run like a 990 or maybe even a 995. Uh, but we'll see. We're going we're gonna to do a tune up. We're going to figure out why it's got that. It's almost like a hesitation. I, I don't know if you're anybody's familiar with. Holly carburetors, but when you first jump on it and it has that little hesitation till you get your squirter and your pump right, um, it's got something similar to that. And I have no idea how to work on crossfire injection, so we're going to take that journey. But uh, that's what we got. And 1027 is the mark to beat. So, um, track down what's going on I'm going to say that it's intake related maybe even a, a another vacuum leak because like I said there's there's quite a bit of vacuum hose under there that is very old um so we'll see definitely going to do something with the tires I might might take them off the Camaro I bet you those would fit we might do that anyway until next time stay sharp Keep a tight shot group and rock on. Peace.